Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and this is Working Man Reads. You can find me everywhere. I'm always available. Um, I will be working at getting back to the comments, uh, doing a little bit better with that. Um, I'm sorry, I just... Mental health stuff, and I'm finally getting back into the swing of things. I'm going to start filming some videos. Uh, this is the second time I'm going to film this one today. I'm excited to talk about The Traveling Vampire Show by Richard Lehman. Now, this is my second venture into his work. And at this point, I kind of understand how he writes. Uh, and, that, and he does have a more sexual nature in how he describes his uh, characters. And um, you do have to kind of get past that. It can be a little repetitive at times with his uh, fiction. But overall, this might be my... I, I, it's going to be hard to beat this one because I'm a sucker for coming-of-age tales. And who doesn't love vampires this time of year? Um, so basically you follow a group of kids and there is a traveling vampire uh, amusement park type fair show that's coming to town. Um, and it stars a l lady named Valeria and she is a, a, a real live vampire. So these kids are trying to sneak in and go uh, watch the show or at least get a glimpse of Mrs. Valeria herself, the vampire queen. And so these kids kind of sneak into this park and they encounter a dog in the beginning and the kids get split up. Um, so the, a lot of the story is kind of the, these kids' character development and who they are as people. And um, the layman style of writing, which is kind of like a dirty old man, horny type writer, because um, he does he he describes female bodies um, a lot of the time. It's the boobs, um, and that's just kind of how he 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 just describes females. So it can get a little bit like, uh, dude, relax. But um, it kind of works in this story because uh, these are teenage boys, and if you're if you were ever a teenage boy yourself, or you have raised one. Um, they do think about that stuff, uh, <laughs> if we're being honest. Um, so it kind of made sense for this character's mind frame. Um, I did like the, the characters. I think my favorites were probably Slim, who is a, the female of the, the friend group. And she was abused as a kid. Um, and yeah, she's kind of a little bit of a love interest for the main character, uh, and yeah, I just overall, I liked her as a character. She was a strong woman, even though she had been, well, a strong young girl, even though she had been through so much. And then I did like Lee, uh, the sister-in-law of the main character, Dwight is his name. And I did like the sister-in-law, but, um, she was just ultra sexualized by like every time Dwight was around her because she's gorgeous or whatever. And, uh, so it was interesting, but I did like her as a character. So if you haven't read the Traveling Vampire show, I would say that this is Richard Lehman's, this has got to be what he's known for. I think that this is really worth the read. And I think it's one that I'm going to keep on the shelf. I might even upgrade my copy down the line and just get a, a good copy of this. Um, you know, I don't know if there's any hardcovers going around. I do like this old fashioned, um, paperback uh, version of these these older uh, Richard Lehman type novels. I just, I think it's pretty cool. Um, what is this? A leisure horror. Yeah, it's a leisure horror version. So, um, yeah, I, I definitely think this is worth the read. I love the coming of age style story. And who doesn't love vampires and uh, coming of age this time of year? So let me read the synopsis on the back. And you guys make the decision for yourself to read Layman in the future. And let me know down below, uh, what's your favorite Layman book? I think the next one I read is going to be Island by him. Uh, I've heard that that's pretty good. I've also heard Beware is very good. Uh, so I definitely am not done with Layman. I think I'm going to read a lot of his work um, because I do respect him as an author. Uh, so here we go. It's a hot August morning in 1963. All over the rural town of Granville, tacked to the power poles and trees, taped to the store windows, flyers have appeared, announcing the one-night-only performance of the Traveling Vampire Show. The promised highlight of the show is the gorgeous Valeria, the only living vampire in captivity. For three local teenagers, two boys and a girl, this is a show they can't miss. Even though the flyers say no one under 
the age of 18 will be admitted, they're determined to find a way. What follows is a story of friendship and courage, temptation and terror, when three friends go where they shouldn't go and find much more than they ever expected. So yeah, uh, A Tale of Friendship is probably the best way to describe this book. Um, um, it did have that teenage angst and that friendship that you know you felt when you were a young kid or a teenager. Um, that bond of people that you aren't sure are going to be around forever, but at that time you, you, you feel like they will be. Um, and uh, sometimes you don't even really like the person you're with, but it's just you live near each other and you've been friends for a while. So it's kind of cool. It, it, the author nailed that, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah. Until next time, this has been Working Man Reads. That has been my review for The Traveling Vampire Show by the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Layman. Have a great day, guys. Bye.